Can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for the real values of x that satisfies this equation. x raised to the fourth power equals x minus 2 raised to 2. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So our goal here is to solve for the real value of x. In this equation, x raised to the fourth power equals x minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Now, what we're going to do here is to notice this 4. This 4 is just 2 times 2. And now, let's use some loss of exponent. If we have b raised to a times c, it is equivalent to b raised to a raised to the power of c. Or, this can be written as b raised to c raised to the power of a. So, x raised to 2 times 2 can be written as x squared raised to the power of 2. Now, let's equate this to 0. And then, since we have a square number minus another square number, we will use the difference of two squares. If we have a squared minus b squared, it is equivalent to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So, we can factor the left-hand side as follows. So, we have x squared plus x minus 2 multiplied by x squared minus x minus 2. So, this is just applying the difference of two squares. Now, let's focus on this factored form. Now, let's simplify this. Let's distribute this negative sign. Now, since it is equal to 0, we can say that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So, we can say that x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0 or x squared minus x plus 2 equals to 0. Now, let's focus on this first case. So, x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0. To solve for the value of x here, we will use the quadratic formula. We have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, the value of a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, so we can replace all a with 1. Now, the coefficient of x is 1, that is the value of b, so we can replace all b with 1. And the constant term is the value of c, which is negative 2. Now, let's simplify. 1 minus 4 times negative 2, this is just 1 plus 8 or simply equal to 9. Now, square root of 9 is definitely equal to 3. So, we have two possible solutions here. We have negative 1 plus 3 over 2 or negative 1 minus 3 all over 2. Now, on the first case, negative 1 plus 3 over 2, we have 2 over 2 or simply equal to 1. On the second case, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4 divided by 2 will give us negative. Two. So we have now two possible values for x, two real values of x. We have 1 and negative 2. Now how about on the second case? We have x squared minus x plus 2 equals to 0. Again, let's use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now the value of a again is the coefficient of x squared which is 1. The value of b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 1. And the constant term is the value of c, which is 2. Now, let's simplify the number inside the radical sign. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So, 1 minus 8 must be negative 7. Oh, no. Square root of negative 7 is not a real number. So we don't get any real number x in this case. Therefore, the only real value of x in this equation must be equal to x equals 1 or x equals negative 2. And that is our answer. So the only real values of x that satisfies this equation must be x equals to 1 or x equals negative 2. And as always, we are done.